Hey Scorpio, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for April the 26th through May the 2nd, 2020. What messages or guidance do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 26th through May the 2nd, 2020. All right. We have Family of Light. So let's see here. The limits that much of humanity place upon their love, that they will love their own family, country, religion, or community better than they love those on the outside, do not restrain your heart. You are capable of loving humanity, of loving all creation on earth as an extended spiritual family. You will love all as your own, and you are meant to belong to a broader family of light. So for some of you guys, this is about loving humanity, um, being in high vibration when dealing with you know, the rest of the world. So let's see what messages we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 26th through May the 2nd, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 26th, April the 27th, April the 28th, April the 29th, April the 30th, May the 1st, May the 2nd, 2020. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, you got nine of pentacles under here. I've been seeing this a lot. So I do feel like with the three of now here, with the solo places and the material harvest, I feel like if you create I feel like if you have confidence, you'll create something of solid um harvest for you, or you're really be in the space of reaping some rewards here. So let's see what we have. Move these cards. Sunday we have Ace of Swords, so Ace, that's triumph and success. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may have some clarity or a new beginning. Um, with the Two of Wands here, I feel like you could be at a crossroads. So you may gain some sort of clarity Sunday that puts you at a crossroads by Monday. Truth here, I feel like you're going to be weighing out some truths, um, making a decision about something by Tuesday. This was in reverse, Four of Pentacles here. Um, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need to let go of whatever you're holding on to. I'm going to turn it up right though um, with the five of wands some of you guys are holding on to something that creates obstacles in your life creates challenges within your life I feel like you need to let go of that that's for Thursday Friday we have the two of uh, swords so whatever this is it creates mental conflict I feel like for a lot of you guys you need to stand by your truth put some things in motion so you can really bring peace to your thoughts and peace to your heart or your mind all right, so we have the Ace of Swords here for Sunday. Why is this Ace of Swords here for Sunday? Why is this Ace of Swords here for Sunday? Why is this Ace of Swords here? We got Temperance here. That's Sagittarian energy. King of Cups here and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like it's time for you to really extend yourself toward a new type of existence, a new life. I feel like you're being granted with a new opportunity. Two Aces here. So this is a very masculine opportunity, meaning you're the one that needs to take action. Um, really put some things in motion in order for you to move forward. Some of you guys are dealing with a lack situation. Five of Cups here, Five of Swords. I mean, Five of Cups here, Five of Pentacles. You're dealing with a lack situation or a codependent situation that may need to, you may need to move away from. Um, I feel like it's not reciprocal in some way, shape, or form. All right, so two of wands here. Why is two of wands here? Whoa. So we have the will of fortune here, two of cups here. With the Six of Cups, this Eight of Cups, this is about walking away from a relationship. There are some changes that need to happen. And I told you, Emperor here, this is masculine energy. So I'm taking this as either you're dealing with an Aries or you're in the space of really needing to be the one to take action in order to create some change. You may have been at a crossroads about a situation. Um, you may have been kind of reeling through your thoughts on what you should do. You need to be the one to take action within your life. You need to stop playing the waiting game and be truth. Like be truthful. Make the decision. Some of you guys have been waiting around trying to see what you should do. You have to make a decision here. Why is this judgment here? Why is judgment here? We have the justice here. Could be dealing with the Libra because this did look like Libra energy here. Um, but with Justice, Nine of Cups, and Queen of Cups, I feel like you, this is your card, Queen of Cups, I feel like you need to 
choose or make a decision on what makes you happy. You know the truth, but you need to do what is right for you. For a lot of you guys, you're not choosing what is making you happy. You're holding on to something here. Because of some plans that you've already made. Same thing with the Libra. So if you're dealing with the Libra, you need to check that out. Alright, we got the Four of Pentacles here. I feel like you're holding back. And if you're holding back, that's going to create obstacles here. So we have the Page of Pentacles here with the Nine of Swords. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're very much in the space of needing to see the value of overcoming your own fears. Six of Swords so that you can move forward. Six of Wands here toward your victory. I feel like World Card, whatever you're holding on to has already ended. You're dealing with a cycle that has completed within your life, but because you're in a space of holding back, having the anxiety or having the conflict with the conflicts within your thoughts that you're afraid of, of moving forward or changing, that is, again, creating an obstacle. So, obstacles and challenges here, Six of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups here, the Judgment here. So, the challenge here is about making a decision. For some of you guys, this is someone new in your life, King of Wands here, or you really needed to focus on making a decision, but you're dealing with some conflicts within yourself because you want to be fair. Some of you guys want to be fair, but I feel like you need to gain your independence away from a relationship or a partnership that you've been just putting your energy in that is not reciprocal. This could be a friendship. This could be a relationship. It really doesn't matter. You got a lot of mental conflict because you, again, need to make a decision. Why is this two of swords here? Empress here. So you have conflict about something that is growing. King of swords here with the Knight of swords. Some of you guys need to make the decision to move forward. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're back and forth about releasing a relationship or releasing some sort of either a job, relationship, marriage, it doesn't matter. You're back and forth within your beliefs around a situation and that's what's creating this mental conflict. The way to create mental conflict is to bring balance to your thoughts. The way to bring balance to your thoughts in your situation, put things in motion so that you can move away from what's creating the imbalances. Why is this three of pentacles here? Why is this three of pentacles here? We have the hermit card here. High Priestess here with the Fool Energy here. So some of you guys, you've already been within your thoughts about this. You know that it's time for you to kind of take a leap of faith and move forward. Because whatever you've been dealing with, this family situation, this relationship, whatever, is codependent. It's, it's toxic. Um, Five of Swords here with the death. Some of you guys, I really feel like you're needing to kind of make a decision. You're feeling defeated within your thoughts because you're the one that has to do this. But you got to take control of your own happiness, of your own life. No one else is going to do this for you. All right, so let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages, what guidance? We got vigilance. So this is about you standing firm, standing strong. For a lot of you guys, you have the ability to sh change your life and create a celebration, create happiness. But there are some changes, again, that have to happen. So some of you guys, the change is up to you. You have to be the one to change your circumstances. That's all I got. Until next time, y'all.